I like that sweater, Tig. It's yours. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I picked it because of the little patches on the elbows. I like that's why I, I picked it myself. And you can have it. You can take it home. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, what? what? What can I give you? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm giving things away. I'm starting to, to let go of things as we... Uh, you want something from here? Can I have that? No. Um, <laughs> it's so nice to have you here. Usually you're up in the skybox interrupting me doing your own show, pretending that you have your own show that's exactly like my show. It's a real show. It is a real show. Uh-huh. And I feel like you're interrupting mine. Uh, during my taping. I see. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's, right. That's there your reality. That's you as Tom Cruise, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Do you still get that where people think you're like Tom Cruise? I get that, and I get Adam Scott from... Um, For sure. I also get Jim Carrey a lot. No. no. I, I, okay. I don't fall for that. All right. I don't believe it. What a weird lie. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Um, Tig. Uh, yes, Ellen. Um, uh, you are uh, on tour. I am. Um, all across the country. Are you reading a teleprompter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to respond to that. I just will well, keep talking. Well, I have a slow you... delivery. I... <laughs> um, yeah, I've been on tour uh, since early January, uh -huh. and uh, it's been going very well, uh, very fun. And, uh, yes, I have... I'm having a good time. I saw a picture or a video of you swimming with sharks, and I never would have thought in a million years you would do something like that. Yeah. Look at the size of that. That's the shark. Yeah, <laughs> right, that's not you. That's not me. Right. That's the shark. All right, still the shark. There's another shark. Two there should be just a picture of me. Where, there, I'm right above that bull shark. Where I mean, is, could where the is... audience at least go, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Where is that? Bull sharks, hold on one second, Ellen. Bull <laughs> sharks are the most aggressive sharks in the ocean. And the people I was swimming with did not mention that. <laughs> and you have to wait until the sharks come to jump into the water. Like, I thought you'd be swimming around, you wait for sharks. No, you're like, oh, the sharks are here. Let's get in. <laughs> and so as soon as the sharks showed up, we jumped in. Uh, me, uh, I had called my friend in Miami, and I said, look, my new assistant uh, is a thrill seeker. And, um, and before I had called my friend, my assistant had said, I really want to swim with sharks and jump out of a plane and do all these things. And when I called my friend in Miami, he said, well, we could go swimming with sharks. And I was like, well, that's exactly what he wants to do. And so I thought, well, I'll introduce you two, and uh, you can go swim with sharks. And then they were both like, well, you're coming with. And I was thinking, there's no way in the world I'm going to do that. Yeah. But then um, I ended up doing that. <laughs> I, I uh, changed my mind, apparently. And uh, I think, honestly, because... <laughs> I called my wife, Stephanie, and told her, and I thought I was telling her good news, <laughs> that I was, had just been with six bull sharks uh -huh. in the ocean, and um, she was not into it. No. And, no. No, I would think that she would be, and you have children, you have small children that... Yeah, we yeah. do. They're, they're kind of big now, um, but the, yeah, she was really... I, it wasn't like, a, ah, why did you do that? It was, why did you do that? Yeah. And I really don't, I didn't know what to say, and I wasn't quite sure. But then I thought, honestly, maybe it's because of the feelings of the pandemic and, you know, it, it, just that low hum feeling of life. And then I thought, well, I'll just jump in the water with sharks. Yeah. Um, and then there's the, the potential of death obviously, but sure. uh, I lived. Yeah, and, um, to tell the story. To tell this long, boring story. Yeah, well. I was, I, I was like, please let me live through this so I can be on national television. Right. Really dragging out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a boring story, because, I, I mean, I swam with sharks. Right, it's just that you, it, it, it was longer than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Um, what point should I have stopped? I don't know. I think... 
I mean, for sure a while back. I don't know how far back. I'm open to, uh, I, I'm open to any edits. Let's review or notes. it. Okay, let's, let's look at let's it. Let's go through it again. Let's, you know, let's... I, uh, I went swimming with sharks. <laughs> Is this a COVID table? Yeah. It seems very long. Yeah. yeah. Cause I don't remember being this far yeah, away. Yeah, we, we had to make it a little further apart. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yep. Okay. All right. We're so what else? We're gonna take a break. <laughs> well, I'm only halfway through my story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back more with Tig. We're back with Tig Notaro, and uh, now you've got a, another, you have two podcasts going, don't you? I do, I have one. It's an advice podcast called Don't Ask Tig. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> That's not the joke. Uh, yeah, um, and, uh, and then I have another podcast called Tig and Cheryl True Story. And that is uh, with Cheryl Hines from Curb Your Enthusiasm. And we talk about a new documentary every week. And we're old pals, I mean, go way back. And, I mean, you know, not like, just like 15 years or something. It's not like, 40 years, we don't oh. go, you know, we go. Nobody was wondering. <laughs> Not one person, nobody. Nobody, we were one, one yeah. person. I wonder how far back she means by that. Probably about 15 or so years. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> We realize that whenever we're together, we just have so much fun, and all we do is cackle together. We go off the rails, and we, we just talk about nonsense, and, and basically each documentary just is a jumping off point. Right. What's the last documentary that you started talking about? <sighs> when is this gonna air? Uh, in about a month. Well, then I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, oh my God. there are, there are some episodes <laughs> like, uh, about, uh, octo my octopus teacher. That's so old. But that was, that was like years ago. It doesn't matter. We can decide at any point to do whatever we want. Okay. I just thought there were more current, uh, documentaries. I, there, so there are, but, um, I'm just telling you some highlights. Uh, okay. That, <laughs> uh, Theranos. Uh-huh. Don't know it. Chicken People? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, my God, yes. Did you see that? I did. Okay. Yeah, I love documentaries. Well, you and should listen to Tig and Cheryl True Story. I'll see if I have time. Um, <laughs> well, soon you will. <laughs> I know, I know. And just uh, binge them all. I, I know, I will. I, I love listening to you talk. I love you, too. All right. Um, seriously, I, I love you, and thank you for being uh, my pal through the years. Of and course. Making me laugh every time you're on the show. And just, it, just with you in general, you make me laugh. So you thank you. make me laugh, and um, and thank you for having me on. In fact, I want to. Um, I know you've accepted the um, Medal of Freedom. Is that right? Uh huh. Um, you've hosted, you know, award shows and had your own show, but um, because. You've been so generous with me, and um, I just wanted to return the favor and um, invite you onto my Skybox show as a guest. <laughs> well, well. Well, that is something, uh, I'm gonna take that in. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Well, offer. thank you for that offer. Go to tignataro.com to listen to our podcast, Tig and Cheryl, and you can buy tickets to see your stand up at the Ace Theater in Los Angeles on May 14th. I want to thank Tig Nataro, Amy Schumer. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love. I give it back to you. Bye.